to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to take a look at messages regarding your past, present, and future. Please remember, this is a general reading. Lots of people receiving lots of messages, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's general past, present, and future reading, we are going to have reading number one with the fruit bat or flying fox. We're going to have reading number two with the lynx. Reading number three with the shark, reading number four with the orca, and reading number five with the seahorse. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now, so I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the fruit bat or flying fox. The energy of the fruit bat is kindness. So kindness, incredibly important in your life right now and in general. Now let's take a look at your message regarding your past. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number one, whatever message there is for them regarding their past. Thank you, thank you. Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords talks about some challenges you've faced. You've been able to overcome them though. You have uh, moved past them. You have fought your way through them, kind of soared above them a little bit, like the eagle there. Clarification out of Moonology for the Knight of Swords in the past. A new start is coming. So your past has had significant challenges in it, but you've overcome them all. A new start is happening. Those challenges are most likely moving away from you. Now, let's see the present energy. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number one. Whatever message you have regarding their present energy for their best benefit. Thank you, thank you. Four of Wands, that's beautiful. That can represent marriage or doors opening to things you want to commit your energy to. So some of you are moving into situations where you're getting married. Some of you are finding careers that you want to commit to and um, just different aspects of your life where you're desiring to commit your energy. Realization. You guys are probably at the realization point of what it is you want to commit your energy to. And that is kind of putting all of those challenges to rest because you're finding where your passions lie. Let's take a look at the future. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number one. Whatever message is for their best benefit regarding their future. Four of Cups. That talks about not seeing what the universe is handing you. It talks about seeing things the way you wish they were versus the way they actually are. Let's see what the clarification on this is. Okay, hang on one second. We'll get the spell casting oracle for clarification. All right, what is the clarification on the four of cups in the future? Spirit guide. Okay, so I feel like <clears throat> there is a possibility that you're finding things right now that you want to commit your energy to. Um, realizing where your passions lie, realizing what it is you want to commit to, whether it's a person or a career or a 
hobby or a country or whatever, like, you know, a place you want to live or travel or whatever it is, you are committing your energy or you're realizing where you want to commit your energy. And you may not see the future completely clearly. You may um, not see what it is that these commitments will look like as you move forward. We get kind of an idealistic view when we start a commitment and then, you know, there's hard work involved in it too. Your guides want you to know that even if you don't see it completely the way it is, even if you kind of see it through rose colored glasses, they're going to be there to help you find your way. So go ahead and make the commitment to whatever it is you're passionate about. As you realize what calls you, step into it. Don't be afraid to step forward. Anything that you didn't completely see clearly, your guides are going to be there to help you through it. The time of challenge, of you know, challenge after challenge after challenge, that is over. You're moving into following your passions and your guides are going to help you through anything you don't quite see clearly. General final energy for group number one meandering pathway flow i think you're being told to follow the flow go with the flow move forward follow your passions you're going to find yourself kind of weaving through life you know having this passionate energy and this passionate energy over here and moving back and forth really as the door opens to something that calls you on the passionate level step forward into it it's part of your path it's part of your journey anything you can't see clearly your guides are going to help with so go with the flow and let kindness lead you all right that is all i have for reading number one Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two with the links. The energy of the links is secrets. So maybe you're dealing with secrets. Maybe you're discovering secrets. Let's take a look at what your message kind of um, revolves around. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please bring forward whatever message regarding the past of group number two is in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. Six of Swords. You guys are moving forward. Whatever it is in your past, you've let go of a lot of that baggage. Let's get Oracle on this one. We're going to look at uh, Moonology. So for the Six of Swords in the past energy, group number two, please. What do you need to release? Okay, so you've been moving forward releasing things, but there's still something left. There's some baggage from your past, maybe something you've been keeping a secret that needs to be released. You've done really good so far moving forward, letting go of emotional baggage, but there's something else like your guides are bringing it forward. There is some kind of secret thing that needs to be released from your past. Let's take a look at present energy. What is there with regards to their present energy, please? Queen of Wands, stepping into your true authentic self, releasing whatever it is that you're hanging on to from the past is going to help you step into your true authentic energy in the present. Let's see Queen of the Moon for the Queen of Wands, please. Present energy, please. Thank you. Acceptance. Yes, you have to accept who you are. You have to release what is past you need to accept yourself just as you are don't keep secrets about yourself from yourself with yourself accept yourself in your entirety the people that are meant for you will do the same now let's see the future angels spirit guides ancestors for group number two whatever you have regarding their future the star, that is beauty and healing and a gift from the divine. All right, your guides are telling you release a fear of 
it, whatever it is from your past, whatever you've been holding as a secret, release it, let it go. It doesn't mean you have to tell everybody. It means you have to release it and you know, accept yourself. You are being asked to accept yourself in the present, your glory, your beauty, your passion, your faults, your failures, all of it. Accept yourself just the way you are. Be yourself. And that will help you to move into the future where you are healed, where the universe can shower gifts upon you. What is there to add to the star here for group number two? Home, beautiful, feeling at home in your life, feeling at home in your body, feeling at home in your situation, finding your home, finding your tribe, you being authentic to yourself and accepting yourself just the way you are, will call your tribe, your home to you. And the universe is just looking to bring it in. So let go of the secrets. Don't keep your passion a secret. Now, general energy group number two, spirit guardian of autumn, letting go. Absolutely. You've got to let go of the past. You've got to let go of what you've been keeping secret. You've got to let yourself heal and accept yourself in your true authenticity right now. So release what needs to be released, release hurt and pain and you know whatever it is from the past that you need to release that you've been keeping a secret. Embrace your present, accept who you are now and expect that the universe is gonna bring in a beautiful home tribe of people for you that are gonna love you exactly the way you are. Let go and accept who you are. All right, that is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three with the shark. The energy of the shark is purpose. Finding your purpose, stepping into your purpose. Purpose probably relating to your reading here in some way. Now let's look at your message regarding your past. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number three. Please bring forward whatever message is in their best benefit regarding their past. Thank you, thank you. Strength. All right, so in your past, you have had strength. You've had situations that have built your strength. You are incredibly strong. Now, let's see Moonology for strength. Regarding strength in the past position, what is there to add or clarify? It's a time to give rather than take. So your strength has been in your giving nature. You have given your strength to others. You have taken care of others. Let's see what's going on in the present. I feel like it's probably you needing to draw your strength into yourself. But let's see. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number three their message regarding the present thank you thank you thank you death the end of something for the start of something new death is not talking about human death it's talking about something ending to start something new i think you've lived for others your most of your life up until now You've given all your strength to everybody else and it's time for that to shift. See this new beginning, it's very pure energy. We're gonna do um, spell casting for this one. The new beginning that's coming in please or whatever is ending. Clarification on death. Talent, okay. So you are stepping into a talent that is yours or stepping into putting your strength behind your talent following your passions, letting your talents show, not um, necessarily using your strength for everyone other than yourself, but focusing that strength on yourself, letting your passions thrive. Let's look at the future, please. Group number three, eight of coins. That talks about you putting in the work for sure. If you go down a path of stepping into where your talents lie, where your passions lie, 
there's definitely going to be work involved and you're going to possibly follow this path as your job as what you do you know where you put your work and your energy eight of coins nourishment yes you will if you give yourself your strength if you the strength that you've given to everyone else your whole life if you take that strength and give it to yourself let this giving to every because the the past you have a time to give rather than take so you didn't take any of your own strength you gave it to everyone now that's ending you're starting a new beginning where your talent is your focus your passion your focus that's where your strength goes focusing on really putting your energy into your talent that is going to become what you do you are going to thrive there it's going to be where you get your nourishment for your soul and your body this is going to be your future if you put your strength behind where your passions lie it's part of your purpose whatever your talent is is part of your purpose now general energy closing out for group number three please hummingbird spirit joy that will absolutely bring you joy focusing on your talent your gift your skills your passions whatever it is that lights you up focusing on that that becoming where you put your energy where you put your work how you nourish yourself is going to bring tons of joy into your life and it is a significant part of your purpose all right that is all i have for reading number three Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four with the Orca. The energy of the Orca is song lines. So take that however it resonates for you. That's what it says the energy is. So I don't know if you're, you know, into music or writing or something about song lines. Now let's take a look. Maybe your guides speak to you through lyrics and song lines. Let's take a look at your past energy. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, whatever message you have for group number four regarding their past. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Hermit. In your past, you've had a lot of time alone, a lot of solitude, but you've used that to kind of light your inner light and focus on your spiritual growth. Your spiritual growth is significant because of this time you've had in your past. Balance spirituality and practicality, and that's what you've done. You have had spiritual growth while also dealing with the practical challenges of life, your job and bills and education and all of that. You've balanced that plus your spiritual existence for your spiritual growth. Let's look at present energy. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, the present, please. Four of Cups. The Four of Cups talks about seeing things the way you wish they were or sometimes not seeing what the universe is trying to bring in for you let's see okay we're gonna do moonology again let's see the four of cups please for group number four luck is on your side okay so maybe you're not seeing something the universe is trying to bring to you luck is guiding you forward there is something coming in you have to make sure you're open to receive it for sure but there is something in the present luck is on your side bringing in something new and um yeah you're just i think maybe you might be focused a little bit on something else and you're not quite seeing the gift you're receiving right now let's uh, let's see the future hang on this kind of got all bent up all right so the future for group number four please thank you thank you Four of Wands, wow, that is an opportunity that you want to commit your energy to. That could be marriage. The Four of Wands talks about the idea of, you know, um, really being in love and the whirlwind and wanting to, you know, run away and get married, like that, you know, whirlwind energy. 
And it also talks about things you want to commit your energy to. It could be a career. It could be um, a, some type of creative passion. There is something in the future that you're going to want to commit your energy to. And I feel like the universe is bringing it in right now. It holds lots of future opportunity for you. Grieving. Okay. You, okay. So I feel like you guys are missing it because you're grieving. Um, because you're seeing what you wish it was and it's not exactly what you're wishing for, but it's going to be exactly what you want. Okay. So you've done the spiritual work. You can hear your guides, like even the message of song lines coming through. Your guides may communicate with you literally using music. Um, there's, you have a balanced spiritual versus practical existence and you've experienced spiritual growth. There is something coming in right now and your guides are trying to communicate with you so you don't miss it. There is a blessing coming in for you, something that's going to feel wonderful, like doors have opened to things you truly desire, but you're grieving and it's kind of stalling it out. You're grieving something. You're grieving what you thought you should have or what you wished you could have. Let go of what you presume should have been and follow where the universe is taking you. It's going to take you to a beautiful place. Now, let's see one final energy for group number four to close things out. Air spirit knowledge. Okay. So your guides are bringing in knowledge for you so that you can see. Because you do have a capacity to communicate with them on your own. Let go of whatever it is you feel should have been yours. Whatever it is you're wishing you had. Because luck and the universe are bringing in something that's going to be even better. Your knowledge of it is going to already help things move forward. But letting go of whatever it is you feel should have been is important for that forward motion. All right, that's all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number five with the seahorse. The energy of the seahorse is equality. So maybe the energy of equality having something to do with your message here. Now let's start by looking at your message regarding your past. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number five, please bring forward whatever message you have regarding their past. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Five of Swords, so lots of worry in the past. Could be worrying about work situations or home life situations. What is there for this worry in the Five of Swords? Thank you, thank you. A time to give rather than take. Okay, so there is worry and I feel like you, because maybe you're worried about others, um, because you are worried, you're not focusing on yourself. Um, let's move to your present energy and see kind of where this is going. Your guides are re referencing your worry of the past. And I feel like it's probably not so much worry about you as it is worry about someone that you love. Now, what is there for present energy? Nine of Cups. All right. In the present energy, you are entering a dream come true energy. Some sort of wish fulfillment, something fantastic happening. That is wonderful news. So that worry of the past is over. Let's see for the uh, clarity. All right. Beautiful. So something coming into clarity that feels like wish fulfillment. You're going to see it clearly very soon if you don't already. Now let's see the future. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number five, whatever you have regarding their future, please. 
Queen of Cups. That is emotional maturity. That is deep emotional connection. Um, really touching those deep emotions that we tend to hide and run from, like true genuine love and compassion. Those energies that run very, very deep. That is you stepping into the capacity of really um, processing those. Now, let's see also situations that touch you on a very deep emotional level. Queen of Cups. The path. This is part of your path. It's always been meant for you. I feel like you've worried for others or maybe worried that you um, wouldn't have strong connections with others or that your strong connections would um, fizzle over time. And there is something that is coming in right now in the present that is going to bring a beautiful clar clarity to the situation. That worry is done. It's over. You in the future are stepping into deep emotional processing. And this is positive. Look how beautiful and glorious the Queen of Cups looks. It's very positive emotions that she is able to deal with and process and move through and experience. And this is part of your path. This is part of what you're here for. So there's no reason to continue the worry. Now, let's see final energy, group number five. Raven spirit, truth. Okay. So beautiful truth coming in that brings in emotional clarity and is part of your wonderful, beautiful path of experiencing love and compassion emotions. All right. That is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.